This film covers the published article Metamorphic Testing of RESTful Web APIs. Testing web APIs is challenging due to the difficulty to assess the correctness of the responses. How can you be sure that the answer you get is correct and complete if you don't know the correct answer beforehand? To solve this oracle problem and to make testing of RESTful web APIs easier, the authors have come up with a metamorphic testing approach based on six patterns. Instead of comparing expected and actual output, you check whether the output from a source test case and a follow-up test case fulfill a specified relation. For instance, the output for all movies with love in the title should be the same regardless of the size of pagination, and the output for a search for movies with love in the title should be a subset of the output for a search for movies with love or hate in the title. The authors introduced six metamorphic relation output patterns that capture the shape of many of the metamorphic relations found in RESTful web APIs. Equivalence, a relation where the source output and the follow-up output are equivalent. They include the same items, although not necessarily in the same order. Equality, a relation where the output includes the same items and in the same order. Subset, a relation where the follow-up output is a subset of the source output. Disjoint, a relation where the intersection among the outputs is empty, that is, the outputs can have no item in common. Complete, a relation where the union of several follow-up outputs contain the same items as the source output. Difference, a relation where the outputs differ in a specific set of items. To evaluate the proposed testing approach, the authors used the approach to identify metamorphic relations and find faults in six subject web APIs. Automatically seeded faults in four APIs developed by undergraduate students using mutation testing and real faults in the web APIs of Spotify and YouTube. In the student APIs, the authors identified between 5 and 14 metamorphic relations on each API, covering all six patterns. From these relations, 287 tests was derived and run, detecting 302 out of the 317 introduced mutants, a mutation score of 95.3%. In the Spotify API, 20 metamorphic relations were identified, and in YouTube, 40. 21 of the relations were violated, and as a result, 11 issues were detected, 3 in Spotify and 8 in YouTube. 10 of them confirmed by the API developers or reproduced by other users. The authors claim that using these patterns and the proposed methodology, the identification of metamorphic relations was straightforward, turning the general problem into a much simpler one, deciding which pattern or patterns fit best. Following this procedure, over 90 metamorphic relations were discovered easily, according to the authors, including a fair number of instances of all the proposed patterns, which mean they are representative for RESTful web APIs. The evaluation with seeded faults resulted in 95.3% of mutations detected. This supports the effectiveness of the approach in revealing faults. The real issues found in Spotify and YouTube's APIs are relevant both in terms of quality and quantity. 10 of the issues have been confirmed either by developers or users, which mean they are meaningful and the fact that some of them were fixed quickly supports their relevance. The approach seems to work. The authors identified one main internal threat related to the correct identification of failures. To mitigate this threat, violated metamorphic relations were carefully analyzed, although the effectiveness at detecting failures is assessed using a significant number of both artificial and real bugs, the result might not be generalized to other types of faults. The authors hypothesized that the proposed patterns could also be used to automatically infer metamorphic relations for a given API. The article was interesting to me. I got to learn about metamorphic testing and was presented an approach that I feel can come in handy in the future. It's not groundbreaking. The authors do not claim that this approach will detect all faults in a RESTful web API, or that the six proposed patterns is the complete set. 
The high mutation score is a remarkable result, considering metamorphic testing only alleviates the oracle problem, it doesn't remove it completely. And the number of real issues detected is astounding considering only a small part of the APIs were tested. 3 out of 64 operations in the Spotify API and 3 out of 50 operations in the YouTube API. It is, however, hard to tell how big of an impact the proposed approach had on the result. You might have reached the same result without using the proposed patterns.